hi guys and welcome back to my channel this was my first attempt at doing feeding braids on myself which I think turned out okay considering I've not done it before so if you want to see how I did this stay tuned and watch the video so here are all the things that I used to create the look I used about half the amount of hair I have here so about one and a half packs I'll be using beeswax to smooth my edges and to hold my hair better in the braids and the gold clips to decorate afterwards. Before you start you want to prepare your hair so open it, unravel it and cut it in half. But we don't want blunt ends like this so pull on them a little bit and then comb them through. And when you're done you should have something that looks a little bit more natural like this. You can see the difference to the ends of the hair before and after. And then you want to separate the strands of hair which you'll be feeding into your braid. And you want to start off really small and gradually get bigger because that's what gives the braids a more natural appearance. So you want to lay the hair out which makes it easy to pick up and make sure you have more than enough hair to finish the entire braid because once you start your hands will be stuck in your hair and you won't be able to separate more strands. So you want to start with clean hair. I actually blow dried mine for the first time this year to make it easier when braiding. The next thing you need to do is to figure out which way you want your braids to lie and where to put your parts. I decided that this is where I wanted my first braid to be and I use a mirror to check what the back looks like. I decided to go ahead and to section my hair off for all of the braids. And it's totally up to you if you want to do this part, but I decided to quickly braid all the sections of hair just to hold them better so that when I'm braiding, I'm not pulling out sections of hair from other parts. Plus it gives me a rough idea of what it will look like when it's finished. So from the hair for the first braid, I sectioned off a small part just to create a smaller braid in between and braided the bigger section out of the way. I used the beeswax on the roots of my hair before beginning to braid. For the small braid, I just add a couple of tiny pieces of the hair and this will just help the braid to stay in. It is a little bit harder to see what I'm doing with the small one but you will see it again in a moment on one of the larger braids. So the small braids only go about halfway back and once I've got to that point I braid the hair down but just enough so that it doesn't unravel. It doesn't need to get to the ends because I will be braiding it into the other braid. So I unravel the next braid and lay the edges. So I'll start off braiding the hair normally and gradually add the hair starting with the smaller pieces moving up to the bigger pieces and every time I get my hands in the same position, I add more hair. So as you can see, it's always my left hand that holds my braid, while the right hand feeds more hair in. So your braid should get bigger and bigger until you reach the back of your neck, and that's where I stop adding hair. And I'll switch my hands round and then plait the hair down. Remember to add in your smaller braid as well as you're braiding down. So I'll let you watch this bit in real time just so you get the idea of how I'm adding the hair. So if you haven't got it just yet, rewind the video and keep watching until you get it. If you can braid your own hair already, this shouldn't be too much harder to do. However, if you can't, then I suggest learning how to braid your own hair first. So this is what the first half looks like. And I found the smaller braids hard to do because they wouldn't stay in place where I wanted them to be. 
they kept moving over and covering the parts which I think spoils the look so I decided not to do any more from this point onwards I'll just do the large braids so I'm just on the last braid now and overall I don't think this is too difficult to do I will attempt it again I think I need more practice at the little ones the only other problem I had doing this was my hair sticking out of the braids and I think this is because I recently cut a lot of my own hair so my ends are quite blunt but other than that the braids looked okay this takes a lot of patience so don't attempt this if you're tired or have limited time so I'm finally done with the braiding I'm just gonna add some clips now just to decorate what I actually did with the clips was to put it over the parts of the braid where my hair was sticking out so the sun has come up and I'm finally finished this is what it looks like at the back so if you're still here thank you for watching if you like this video and would like more hair tutorials from me, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell button to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.